There's people out here that have completely lost their homes. Um, this guy was sitting there telling us that he was sitting in his camper and when the storm came through and a pine tree fell in pretty much right next to him and people were asking him you know why he didn't leave and said he lives on disability had nowhere to go no family and his exact words were if the storm didn't take his trailer away he needed the money he would have used to leave to pay his rent you know that was a god's honest truth and it's just a shame the man was a veteran and uh you know there's a lot of stuff that we do for our vets that i'm proud of and i know there's a lot of help for him out there but you know the thing about it is is the help that's out there for people especially in that situation is only good enough for the people that i don't want to say they're not too proud to ask for help but there's people out there that you know the word doesn't reach them or they don't understand how easy it is to get help for certain things and they don't try because they don't feel like they deserve it or maybe there's other people that deserve it more than they do and i just think it's something that i mean you see this place complete this is people's homes i mean this tree is completely down everything is like this there's trees snapped off and this is ways from the coast this is i mean we drove through stuff and it's just as bad everywhere that we go i mean as far as the trees go they're still leaned over it's off about nothing football's on the news politics elections everybody's making fun of these governors and all this shit that's going on and there's people out here in our country that have absolutely nothing left and they have no way to rebuild it can't go pay to work to go pay their bills you know myself included stuff like this happens and you see it and it's like it's so surreal it's an afterthought you think oh these people will be okay but the reality of the matter is, is they won't i mean they don't have a job to go they literally don't have a job to go to anymore because it blew away in a hurricane I mean, it's, and that's it. That's insane. If somebody loses their job, physical, like the physical building goes away. They can't go to work, feed their family. They don't have a house. Or if they do have one, what's left of it needs repairs. They can't make money to, to do it. You know, we have government assistance and I'm not saying that it don't help people. I just want people to make, I want to make sure people know it's a, it is a reality that people really have to think about that right now. They really have to wonder how they're going to make any money to pay to rebuild their entire life. And it's simply put, but it's devastating. That veteran, when he was talking to me and he was telling me that, you know, he didn't have anywhere to go. And those words that he said, I just wanted to come over here and take a second and capture my thoughts in that moment because it really kind of hit home with me. You know, whether he was a veteran or not, I mean, that makes it even worse in my eyes because that man fought and he sacrificed a portion of his life to serve this country so it can continue to be what it's always been, a free country and give us the the rights that we have as americans he you know that's what he stood and fought for and now he's sitting in this trailer park this rv park campsite campground living in a trailer which is you know pretty much all he can afford which is okay i'm sure he's 100 percent happy with that but whenever he can't even get out of the way of a hurricane, a, a devastating, deadly hurricane. It has, he 
can't even get out of the way of that because he don't have anybody that cares about him enough to to help him out or look after him or call him and say, hey man, you're getting out of there, right? I mean, you can just tell when people are being real and you know, I, I knew it. He was really telling me how it really was and you just don't see a lot of that because so many people want to hype up their situation or say certain things that get you to feel sorry for them, but it's real. I mean, I just, I couldn't believe that, so. I just wanted to capture it.